G'day guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different and do a little bit of uh, testing ourselves. Uh, we're going to test the effects of the arty and rockets on suppressed blobs. Um, the format will be as follows, it will have, will have four squads of uh, fully vetted boys or Jaeger, they seem to be the most, uh, most complained about. And we'll run them into the MG and then bomb the fuck out of them and see how they go. This one's obviously simulating uh, Brits versus Weir with the uh, Weir Nibelwerther. Um, I've put the MG on VET 2 and the rocket launcher on VET 1, sort of, you know, semi realistic for end, end of late game. Uh, the next one is the Brits versus DAC, same thing, uh, same VET for, for all these tests. Um, we'll just run them straight in again and um, see how she goes. On a side note, at the end of the video we will run the blobs straight into the MG unsupported and uh, see how they do as well, so stick around for that. <laughs> oh, oh mate, that is fucking glorious. Okay, next one is the uh, Weir Jaeger um, with uh, Shreks because everyone loves complaining about them, <laughs> which is uh, pr pretty fair, they're pretty fucking OP. Um, versus the Priest. Right, now the next one is obviously Jaeger against US. US obviously uh, with the whiz bang, which isn't a, um, it, well, it, it's a doctrinal unit. You have to choose the doctrine to get it. Everyone says the whiz bang shit. Uh, let's see how she goes against these guys. I mean, look. <laughs> I just did the range is pretty awful, but you can't tell me that they didn't absolutely get fucked up. <laughs> and then just for the lol to finish them off. Now, obviously, uh, the whizbang is doctrinal, so we are going to try something a little bit different and use two 75mm um, gun carriages. Um, you know, I don't think this is totally unrealistic. We'll, uh, we'll see how they go. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like in K2, the, how the Soviets got that fa- Oh shit, I actually forgot to- Oh, I didn't go both at the same time, okay, my bad. Oh well, this will be like a exaggerated stretched out test, but shit, you know what, they're not doing too bad. And the best part about them is if somebody comes up to uh, take AMG with a tank, you can just switch them over and blast away the tank. Obviously, they're not the greatest. TDs, but you know, they've got the tracking ability, and yeah, that went better than I thought it would, to be honest. But, um, surprisingly okay. Oh shit, it's still going. There you go. It took a uh, quite a long time for this little guy to finish him off. Okay, so as the last part of the test, I wanted to try and um, run these uh, four, four squad blobs straight up against the uh, head into the MG uh, into green cover, just to, just to see how they do against an unsupported MG.
is obviously uh, we are you're against the US and um, <laughs> yeah they they're doing pretty well um, I don't think the MG is going to be around for much longer Crew killed the next. There you go. Now this one is the Brits against uh, Weir. Now I had to go Brits and run them in myself because I needed to be able to upgrade them in the um, training training center. If they weren't upgraded with the infantry training center, they they just got absolutely annihilated. So it really shows you how important that is. Um, without that, they just all got like instant pinned and wiped out but um once they got the uh training center upgrade they obviously dominate and um works the other way and they took the mg out eventually <laughs> Oh look, he's got that three. Okay, now it's the other way. Jaeger against um, the Brits MG. Now the Brit MG has the um, training setter upgrade for team weapons as well. And look at that, the Jaeger just get in there straight in the green cover. They're, uh, they are very powerful. You, you cannot deny that the Jaeger currently are a very strong unit, especially once they get their vet up. <laughs> it was on vet 3 for a little bit, but uh, yeah, no, no chance at all. Thanks guys, catch you later.